Yeah, Doug, I, I guess first off, do you have any update or idea with your Kayla and, and Ace on there? Uh, I think Jerkayla's fine. Uh, they just said to hold her out. She got poked in the eye, uh, but I talked to her right after the game. I, I haven't talked to the trainers, but, I mean, she looked fine. Uh, Ace's foot was bothering her, unfortunately, and, uh, I mean, it was yesterday, too. She was able to play through it, but it was it was bothering her, and it really put us in a bind because, I don't know, what was it, six players we had rotating in and out or maybe seven? And three of them were our our post player, so we didn't we didn't have a lot of perimeter subs. You talked uh, the other day about doing some soul searching with the team. Are you going to be doing some maybe spiritual searching or something to quit with those you know the pokes in the eyes and the shots in the face that you guys have been taking the past few weeks? <laughs> I'm not sure I got that whole thing. Can you repeat that? I think I got the gist. Yeah, I mean, it just seems like you guys have had some pokes in the eyes and shots to the face the past, you know, week or so that really kind of limited some players. I was wondering if you could do some soul searching to kind of get that to stop as well. Yeah, it's uh, – I've never seen anything like it, to be honest with you. And, you know, we've always tried to protect our players and, the, and take care of their bodies. And as the season goes on, the amount of contact that you're going to have uh, – we use a lot of air dummies, and we try to keep feet away from – from uh, from people who are playing a lot of minutes, but uh, yeah, some of the strange events that have happened, like uh, you just can't make them up, and it's uh, you know at some point in time you can't worry about everything. You just let it go. Whatever happens, happens. You could turn your ankle coming down the stairs, and 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 you just can't. You can spook yourself. Um, you can start um, seeing shadows everywhere, and, and, and really, we just go forward. And these are tough kids, and and they'll battle through all of these things, and and we'll be fine. Robbie, go ahead. Hey, coach. Uh, the first game against Troy, you get out rebounded sixty-one to thirty-nine or whatever it was. And the last two games, y'all dominated there. In your mind, what's been the difference there? Has it just been an effort thing, or what What has been the key for you all the last couple of days to do that? Well, I think effort is is always an easy one to go to. But, but there is something about shot selection, too, in terms of how you can get those rebounds and positioning of your players. And in that Troy game, uh, and again, we've talked about this before. If, if you're going to jack that many threes up early, that defense is just sitting there in great rebounding position. So it, it is hard to get harder to to get the offensive rebound because you're coming too many players from the perimeter and you're not ready for it. And then slowly but surely, I mean, we're starting to to attack the paint, you know, against these sagging zones. And, uh, and get some inside scoring, some inside out scoring. And again, when you get them scrambling, they're not in great rebounding, as good of a rebounding position. So, so I think it's a combination of both. For sure, it's effort. I mean, we, we were all embarrassed by those rebounding numbers uh, from that game. And, and then we did a little better job positioning players. And then the players have really taken over these last two games in terms of you know, pursuing the glass and, you know, Danae and Rakia and, and, and the rest of them, Jerkayla. I mean, they, they've been competing well. To that point, uh, even in that game against Troy, Danae had double figures rebounding. She's, she seems to just be a, a real spark for this team, and you've added her now to the starting lineup. Just what kind of impact ha has she been able to make, not only just, you know, when she comes in the ball game, but for everybody else around her, um, to, to kind of bring the energy, I guess. Yeah, it's, I mean, she does, her, her play does, some and ones, uh, some rebounds that you just don't think you're going to get, and we maybe we hadn't been getting them when she's not in there because she can rebound outside of her area, and not everybody can do that. I mean, she is special in that, in that way. You think that was a bad offensive possession, and we're getting ready to play defense, and then she's coming from the other side of, of the board to grab it, tip it, and then now that we're having some other people go to be part of it, they might get the the ultimate rebound. But she was a big part of it, and it's, and she's going to be a big part of of opponent scouting reports too because now they're going to, you know, they have to box her out. Now she's tough to get a hold of because she, you know, she can turn her shoulder, she can disappear on you, 
so now you're putting, you know, we said this about Rakia sometimes offensively, they're putting a man and a half on her. But they might have to do that with, with Danae too, rebounding, which opens up the gate for other rebounders to come in and, again, to help us with that possession game. Courtney, go ahead. Coach, you guys had 25 points off of turnovers and that three-point only allowed second quarter. How happy were you with your team's defensive effort today? Uh, yeah, those are really good numbers. Uh, in, in South Carolina State's doing the best they can. That's They helped us out with some of those. So I don't want to say it was all our defense. I mean, they, they struggled a little bit offensively um, in handling the ball. But, but I thought we acted like pros and, and we're in position to defend. And, and it's frustrating for other teams. I, I think when we get our defense back and we're in our shell and you're having to shoot over us and you're having to shoot over you know, Danae and Rakia and Jerkayla, and they're just being sound and we're not giving you offense. And I didn't think we gave uh, South Carolina State very much offense in that quarter. Stefan, go ahead. Coach, we were just talking to Maya a little bit about it, but just, you know, she was struggling shooting from three a lot, you know, to open the year. I think sec second half yesterday and then throughout this game, she finally got some shots to fall from, from range. I mean, what's it, what's it like to kind of see her maybe starting to click a little bit? Yeah, I mean, it, it does help. I mean, it's, it, it is a struggle when our guards can't hit those shots. But, uh, but I think what she's finding out, and we've talked about this before, when it's your senior year and you want to do so well and you've put in the work, she deserves uh, for that ball to go in more than it has this year. And early on, she was, take, she was taking some of those early. Uh, and, and those were tougher shots for her. And then it kind of got into her head a little bit. But now the ball's being worked around a little bit. It's, you know, shooting is two things. It's, it's the shot and it's also the, the passer giving you the right pass at the right time. And so if we're not moving the ball properly, nobody's shooting numbers are going to be as, as good as they can be. And so now the, some, a lot of those shots that she's getting, they're backing off of her a little bit. She's got a ton of room. It's gone inside out. It's gone side to side. And we've seen her shoot in practice. We've seen the shooting drills. We have the utmost confidence that those are going to go in and that's the right shot. And even if they don't go in, those are championship shots for her. And so she's not pressing that issue anymore. You know, the great thing about her, she didn't have to make a shot to impact a game. With her defense, her assists, her leadership, every time she makes one of those shots, it's, it's, uh, it's, a des it's dessert. And... Uh, but we know she can, and she's going to need to uh, for this team to do well at the right time. And, and I'm, she's starting to come into her own right now with her, with her shooting.